This question is asking us to simplify this compound statement. It comes from your online homework on logic. It's question number 101. The first part of the question was a drawing of a circuit and they ask for you to write out what the compound statement is from that circuit. And the harder part is the second part where they ask for you to simplify this compound statement. Looking at it, there's nothing that jumps out as something that can be easily canceled to start with. And so we're just going to recognize that we have a square bracket, an AND symbol, and a statement on the other side. It's just a single statement, though. And so we're going to set up um, uh, distribution. And so we want to switch the left and the right. So take the not P, put it on the left, take the bracket, and put it on the right. And so that gives us the ability to be able to distribute in a normal manner with the with the uh, left hand side being the one that is a single statement which makes it a little easier on us and now we're going to distribute we're going to set up distributing across the not P remember how it works the symbol that's on the outside here is what goes in between your statements as you distribute. The symbol that's on the inside here is the one that um, is ultimately in between. And so it looks like this. We have not P and the parentheses. We have not P and Q. The symbol that's in between stays in between. Now it seems like that got worse, but we are on our way to, to making some progress. Again, nothing jumps out as something that could be canceled right away. Um, inside the square bracket, there's an and and an or. And so, let's try this again. I'm going to distribute. When we distribute, we keep the symbol that's in between. And remember that the symbol that's going to be in this position is the one that stays in between. And so let's distribute then in the bracket. That would give us negative P and P. That would give us negative P and R and we'd keep the OR symbol in between. Okay, now why is this beneficial to us? Let's go to the next slide and see where we can pick up from here. It seems like it just keeps expanding. How is this better? Um, when you start seeing symbols, uh, statements and their opposites, or statements and the same statement again, you can simplify. And so that's what we're going to do on the next slide. We have the slide, the statement from above, a statement from before, and now we're going to recognize that we have not P and P. The symbol and its opposite. That's always going to be false. Okay, it's either going to be true and false, or it's going to be false and true. Either way, the ending, resulting statement is false. The only way an AND is false is if they're, I mean, the only way the AND is true is if they're both true. And so when there's mixed like this, automatically the AND is false. So that's great. So now we're going to replace not P and P with a false. Keep everything else the same. And we are making progress, although it might not seem like we are definitely making progress. Okay. Now we're going to take the bracket. Inside this bracket is basically false or anything. You know, this, this guy here that we don't know. Okay. And so, what we're going to do is recognize that when we have false or 
blah or anything, the result of that is just the blah. It's almost like we can drop the false or. Okay, we can take this here and we can drop it off. Let's explain why. Okay, so blah, this the statement here. Usually it's a single statement, here it's a compound statement. But if the if the the thing that's there is true, it ends up as true. If the thing is there that's there is false, the statement ends up as false. So they match. Whatever is here matches what the answer is. And so you can just say then that you can drop off the false or and you just get the block. <laughs> okay. And so there we have our statement at this point. Not P and R, not P and Q, with an and in between. Okay. At this point, we're going to recognize that everything is an and. When you have all ands, there's no need for parentheses. We can just write the four statements as one big string. And so we have dropping the parentheses, we have not P and R and not P and Q. Let's go to the next slide to see where we're gonna where that's gonna get us. All ends, not P and R, not P and Q. So we have to see that there's a not P here and a not P here. They're not right next to each other, but order doesn't matter. Let's rearrange to have them right next to each other. Just basically interchange these two guys in the middle. Nothing wrong with that. Order doesn't matter. We're going to conveniently write them right next to each other so that we can execute um, some, some further simplification. So I'm going to put the, the not P right next to the other not P. Okay. And then this other guy, R and Q, is there. We have to figure out what's going on with this. Whenever they when you have a statement and it's opposite or a statement and itself, you can simplify that. Okay. How can we simplify not P and not P? When the statements match like this, okay, let me go with a different uh, sort of, uh, so, so S and S will just be S. Okay. Me and me is just me. <laughs> okay. Um, it's either going to be true and true, which is going to be true, or it's going to be false and false, which is going to be false. The ands truth values match S's truth values. So there's no need to write it like that. It's redundant to say S and S. We can just say S. It's redundant to say not P and not P. We can just say not P. And then we have our statement as not P and R and Q. And at this point, um, there's nothing else we could do. There's no, there's no matching statement or no opposite, no, no negation of a statement later on. This basically is the answer to the question. But sometimes you'll see these, you know, these, this string of ands with the parentheses thrown in to say what you want to do first. So you could, you could rearrange these. You can throw in parentheses. I think um, on the question. They have uh, this version here with parentheses back thrown in, but it's not necessary though. You can even put the parentheses on the first two. It doesn't really matter, okay, because it's associative. And so you could even rearrange them around if you wanted to. But basically, that is our answer to the question. And we had to string together all these ideas. 
in order to simplify the circuit. The circuit was quite complicated to begin with, and now it's it's more simplified. It's just a series circuit um, with, with two ends strung together, and so um, that's the goal in, in these problems, to simplify a compound statement in order to take a circuit that is complicated and make it simpler.